So today we're just going to be basically doing. Um, I'm going to be painting this bumper corner. Um, kind of going to surprise my wife for this. Um, she has a 2015 Kia Soul that uh, I was backing up and I accidentally backed into the tailgate of my Dakota. Then when it was down, messed it up. So on Dakota, on um, Kias, this is a cool back cap cor or a uh, bumper corner. So you can take this off. You know, you got to take the whole bumper off and then this one bolts. So, all I did was, you see how it sits here. So it sits like this. And it, it creased it right here. So I got a new one, which uh, if you can see, but right here there's an imperfection, there's a scratch. So I'm gonna take a little 600, see if I can get it knocked down. And then I'm gonna put a coat of pr primer on it. Um, I'm just using the SEM primer, high build primer. Um, I want a high build so I, I can then sand it and put another coat of um, primer over top of it so I can get this nice and smooth. So I went with a high build. Uh, hopefully I can get it not this scratch knocked down enough so that this is gonna fill it. Um, before I put that on, I'm gonna put some of this on, which is a adhesion promoter. Whenever you wanna, whenever you're gonna paint like a bumper cover or anything, this, this material, um, you want to do an adhesion promoter so that your primer that you put on adheres to the, the plastic. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is really good stuff. It's expensive, but it's good stuff. Um, and then I got a can of um, Kia 9754. It's a gunmetal. But what we did is, um, I had Haley at her job, uh, she scanned it. So she scanned the, the car right next to this, this spot, so up on the quarter panel. And then that scan, it's a camera, and it, it'll take a picture and it'll get you really close to this. So that's what we did with that. And then we're going to put some clear over top of it. And then, after we put it up out of there, because um, there's a couple other things we want to play with today, um, with painting. Um, there might be a uh, little sneak peek of one of the colors. Um, so, some little test panels we're going to do. Uh, something special she wants to do maybe on her uh, pink skinny. Uh, so, okay. Let me uh, do a little bit of sand in here. And then uh, next time uh, you come back, I'll talk to you about what, when I, what I'm going to do next. Okay, so what I did was I took a little 600, knocked down all the edges. I can still feel a little bit, but these scratches are going to be a little bit, they're okay. I mean, the primer is going to build, you know, but I went back over with a scotch bright, which is the gray, which is probably about a 800 grit. It's the red. Is it gray? Red. Apparently, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I'm just knocking down some of these uh, scratches. And if you can see now, that you can still see it right here, but it's not as bad. So before you put anything on any panel, stink bump. Before you put anything on a panel, you, this is called a tack cloth. And what it is, is it's a cheese cloth, which is this holy thin stuff, if you can see. What you can see is that cheese cloth is just that thin, thin stuff. So let's open this up. You want to open it all up like this, get it nice, and then you want to fluff it up. So you're basically like this. And then after this, you don't want to put any fingerprints on this or anything. Because this is when you're about to spray everything. And you're going to start spraying your adhesion promoter and then that stuff. But for right now, this is what we're doing next step is putting on the adhesion promoter so I've already tack clothed it um, and this is hopefully we'll just you put a coat over it
It stinks. And then once you let that dry, once you let that dry, oh, you can see that has a nice shine to it, but that's, that's just this. You only put one coat on there, a good coat. And then this is gonna be the next step. Once we dry, we'll be back here in a second once it's dry, and then uh, go from there. Okay, so now, time for the primer. I let this sit five minutes. Um, and all that done is to make it so it has a stickiness. First coat, just want to put a light coat all the way around it. Make sure you get your edges because that is the first place that it's going to start peeling. So if you get anything that peels, it's going to start on the edges. And then once it peels there, then it could peel elsewhere. So you want to make sure that your edges are all painted and, you know, primed, painted, cleared. Uh, we're gonna let this set for a second and then we're gonna put another coat on. Okay, let's do a second coat. This one you wanna cover a little bit better. It's not gonna cover everything. Normally, I'm gonna use a spray gun to do primer, all that stuff. But this is such a small panel that this is good stuff and this will work just fine for what we're doing. Um, the paint and the clear will definitely be with a spray gun. But this, I like doing this. I, it's just quick and easy, all that cleanup. I, I really don't like doing primer in my gun cleanup. It makes a mess. So, I'm gonna probably put two more coats on and then let that dry probably for about a half hour. And then, uh, and then we'll come back to um, sit, doing a little scuffing, sanding it, see if we can get that out. And then probably put one more coat over that. As long as I don't blow through, but we'll cover as much as we do, we're supposed to have it all covered. Okay, so now it's dry. I went ahead and I took some 600 and. Weekends, mainly Sundays. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rich people that live in this area where we'll get you'll you know we we have a stoplight out in front of our house, so you'll get people drag racing. It is a four lane, um, but you'll hear a lot of times in our videos squatted trucks, which are sorry. If, it's that, if you're into that, I'm sorry. It's just a it's a fan. I hope it, it goes away. And you got Lamborghinis, and you got Mustangs, and you got Hot Rods. They all go by here. Um, I'm thinking about maybe uh, putting a, uh, a camera, maybe up in the one tree. We get lots of accidents in uh, in front of our house, and maybe maybe start a different channel of just that. You know, some cars accidents up at the, right in front of our house because. 
I'll be honest with you, there's probably two or three a week. Uh, it's just people are people are crazy when they drive. So um, I let this dry probably about 30 minutes. Then I went over with 600, and I can't even feel where the scratch is anymore. Ah, it's right there. So but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another coat of the uh, primer on it. Oh, momento. What I'm doing is I'm just going to pour this in until it's up to the... Probably it's a little much. I don't need all this. But butter have it. No, I need it. You need it and I have it. That's right. So we just got a, a pint. We didn't need a lot. And then we'll take this. And this is the one part. So two parts of the paint, one part of the clear of the reducer. And this I'm putting on a respirator. Because this stuff is not, not good for the lungs. but I'm going to try them underneath different colors. Top of it. Um, so I've got a silver, I've got the pink, I've got a black, and then the other one, what was the other one for? White. Oh, yeah, the straight white, which I'm just probably going to do on the primer. Either that or there, you got a white in there. That's right, I do have a white. <laughs> um, I'm going to prime the black and silver with the spray and then the white and pink is going to be primed with the white. Um, I'm going to do the same 
kind of thing that he did using the bulldog to start with it, tacking it. I already scuffed them and then priming them and then we'll get into that. I'm going to wait until the time comes in this video to explain what is going to be going over these colors. Um, it will be going on the hood. I have kind of a idea of what I'm going to do with the hood. Um, but I'm going to be doing a lot of testing before I go ahead and jump into it. So, keep on watching. got all the colors on and you may be wondering now why we're doing what we're doing and that is to put sparkles over top of it so we did that so that we've got different bases to see which one looks the best so probably gonna be putting together we've got a tropical blitz and it is kitty punch in a point zero fifteen and then the did spade which is the raz color and as well as a point zero fifteen um, we're going to be using a 1.8 nozzle gun for these um, to hope that it'll spray it out. So I I think what I'm going to do, I I like the Kitty Punch the best from Tropical Blitz. It just has a lot more sparkle to it compared to this one. It's more of a dull uh, glitter. But I'm thinking if we mix the two together, that it will end up being okay. So we're gonna be putting it in C90. Um, honestly, I don't know how much we're gonna put in there. I think we're gonna eye it. Um, C90 is just a clear binder, um, normally used in like pearl whites and the pearl, just as a mid coat. So. We're going to do that, and then once we're done with that and got enough glitter on there, my hope is to try to cover as much of each of these in the glitter, and that was kind of my hopes. I wanted to, the hood to be just straight glitter, so let's hope it works. I want to see more of this sparkle. We'll throw that in. Throw the, all, the whole that, thing? The whole thing. Are you sure? Yep. Just got it. Throw it all in it without making a mess. But look at that. I'm about to zoom in, but look at that. All of it? All of it. I most definitely like that one the best, I gotta say. It's, it's got like, it's 
got the pink, but it's got red and purple flakes in, in it. Make sure you get oh. it off low. I'll be honest with you, I think you should spray that over by itself. And then, well, if you like it. So you don't have to harden this? Nope. I had one job. <laughs> Leave it up to me. You don't have to scrape it in there. And the other good thing with this gun is, when, when you're doing a uh, flake, it likes to settle. The flake likes to settle on the bottom. Well, this one you can kind of mix it up while you're doing it. I am going to do the first coat just to see how this is going to spray. Um, and then she's going to take over from there. Which one do you want to start with? Just do the black one. sparkle on lighter colors on the darker colors you see it yeah. but that's just the first coat so the next coat you're gonna do and you're gonna do the same thing it's gonna settle like that they're they're all settling like that the more you put on the better you want it all complete coverage so we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes again and then that's it gives off like when it's sprayed it gives off a red which I'm not I'm not too too bad about sometimes my color looks like a red from certain angles. I just do want to say that the black is dad's idea. He was also the one when we were originally testing for my color. We put it, we knew that what it looked like under a silver, so the lighter color. And we also tried it underneath a white and then underneath like a red, but it was kind of on the darker, like the dark side. He of course liked the darker one, me and mom like the one on top of the white so that's how we end up getting this color but that was his idea just to try it on the black i don't think it's a bad color it's not what I'm going for. Well, you, won't, you won't know until it's all covered yeah okay we're done we're done uh putting any more flake on it i think i already know what's going to go with but we'll wait to the end of this and then once it's cleared and then i will tell y'all which one i'm going Okay, so we're not gonna clear them. They're not quite dry yet, and I need to get this cleared. So I mixed up the clear four to one with hardener, and I'm gonna get it in the gun and do that. Now the next day, everything's dry. Um, the silver and the white ended up being caked out. And neither of us liked it. Um, so that does leave the black and the pink. Dad likes the black, I like the pink. Um, I figure before I make the final decision, because it will be a bit before we actually get it painted, um, that I have to make that decision. So I figured I would let you guys be the judge of it and see to give me a little bit more clarity before I decide which one I want to go with. Now, 
figured I would let y'all know what the whole plan is for the hood to kind of help your decision and what one you like the best. Um, it is just going to be the hood that is painted um, because right now Pink Skitty is a sticker on the windshield and I want to get it off from there. I've actually started to get it off from there. So my plan is to have Pink Skitty on the hood. I want to do it myself, not a wrap, actually paint Pink Skitty on the hood. So if it's the black, it will end up being white. And if it is the pink that you guys like, it will be black. Um, mind you, most of it is pink and black, and I didn't want to do white, but it depends on, you know, what the decision is. Okay, so that is all to be said for the painting aspect of this video. Now, something happened. Uh... It was planning on happening, just not as soon as I anticipated, but something arrived here uh, this, this past week. And uh, you know what? That's just rude. Anyway, <laughs> um, I will let, I'll just, I'm just gonna show y'all. Let y'all take a look at it. So the motor's here. Super excited about it. Um, now the headers were separate. I got for a Christmas present for my parents. And technically the motor arriving early was also because of my parents so thank you mom and dad um yeah so my plan for the start of the new year i'm going to get it taped up and painted because it is not staying blue um got a got a bit more to go i got a good portion of it because i think the motor is the most important i do already have the transmission um so now it's just to get the rest of that audio put together and get that right. Yeah. Okay.